video shows you how to create or modify a vSAN storage policy, how to assign a policy to VMs and other objects, and how to check policy compliance. When you create a new VM, a storage policy is assigned to the VM and its virtual disks. Storage policies define the storage capabilities required for your virtual machines. Each policy consists of a set of rules, and each rule defines a storage capability. For example, the primary level of failures to tolerate rule defines how many physical failures can occur without data loss. The vSAN default storage policy provides a basic set of rules that satisfies most typical storage requirements. The default storage policy is assigned to new VMs and virtual disks unless you assign a custom storage policy. To view the default storage policy, select Policies and Profiles in the vSphere Web Client Navigator and then VM Storage Policies. Select the vSAN default storage policy and click Edit VM Storage Policy. You can edit the default storage policy, but it's good practice to keep the default policy as a baseline. So instead, you can clone it to create a custom policy. Custom storage policies support different storage capabilities or levels of service. For example, in vSAN 6.2 and later, you can define a policy rule that limits the number of input-output operations per second. So you can use one storage policy with limited IOPS for less important VMs, and other policies with no limits for mission-critical VMs. You can set a custom policy as the default policy so that it gets assigned to new VMs. Use the Storage Policy Wizard to create a custom storage policy. Select Policies and Profiles, and then VM Storage Policies. Click Create VM Storage Policy. Enter a name and short description, and click Next. On the Rule Set 1 page, select vSAN for the storage type. Add rules to define the capabilities of this policy. For example, you can add a primary level of failures to tolerate of 1, 2, or 3. The Storage Compatibility page lists the data stores that satisfy the rules specified by your policy. If no data store satisfies the policy, go back and modify the policy. Once you create a new storage policy, you can assign the policy to a VM or virtual disk. On the Select Storage page of the new Virtual Machine Wizard, you can select a VM storage policy from the drop-down list. You can right-click an existing VM, choose VM Policies, Edit VM Storage Policies, and select a storage policy for the VM. You can assign one policy to a VM and assign a different policy to the virtual disk. One reason to do this is to set IOPS limits on the virtual disks. To check the compliance status of a storage policy, select a VM and click Configure Policies. This page lists the compliance status of the storage policies. Compliant means the data store meets the requirements specified in the storage policy. If the status is not compliant, the data store cannot meet the requirements specified in the storage policy. For example, there might not be enough storage space available. If you modify a storage policy, the virtual disks might be not compliant while vSAN makes changes to satisfy the policy. Wait a minute or two and click Checks the Compliance before you take any action to fix the issue. If the status is not applicable, the policy rules do not apply to the data store on which the VM resides. If the status is out of date, reassign the storage policy to your VM or virtual disk. You can modify a VM storage policy on the fly, and vSAN immediately reconfigures the virtual machine objects to meet those changes. Before you modify a storage policy, check the available resources to make sure they can meet the new policy requirements. Click Home, Policies and Profiles, and select VM Storage Policies. Right-click an existing storage policy and select Edit Settings. When you modify a policy, vSAN might have to reconfigure objects in the data store, so consider performing this action during a maintenance cycle or period of low activity. For more information about vSAN storage policies, 
See the vSphere storage documentation on docs.vmware.com. Thank you.